guys this is Theo here coming to you live with another coding video so let's get to it all right guys so um, I'm in JS bin here uh, if you don't know what that is it just allows you to write HTML CSS JavaScript and uh, view it in the console and the output so what I'm gonna do here guys I am going to um, get my HTML I'm gonna add angular 1.4 it's imported we're going to hook up our app to an app called app and uh, then after we are going to bootstrap our app with the angular.module method and uh, okay there we go and then let's add a basic controller. Um, let's call it main controller. So take in a function. We'll just say rpm equals this. And then we'll hook up our body. Main controller as VM. Then after we do that, guys, we are going to. Uh, we're going to inject the location service. We're going to do something really cool, guys. We're going to we're going to create this button right here. Come on. Okay. We're going to create this button right here which says our input type text and it's going to do click and we're going to do label label for click We'll just say click me to change URL. And this will just be a button. It'll take in ng click and uh, do vm.change URL. We will pass in ng model equals URL dot text we'll just pass in the URL so now guys and this will say change URL what we'll do we'll create this function down here with the location service we'll call vm.change URL is a function which accepts the URL first we're just gonna log out the URL and then we're gonna grab this location Say so URL equals URL. So now, guys, let's try this out. Let's do RRR change URL object text RRR and uh, yeah, that's what we're getting back right there. Um, but we want url.text so theo object text theo console.log url location dot url and then also guys we can do something really cool we can so now that's the way to change it I guess there's probably some security on JSPIN that's not letting me change it um, but we can also do this, which is location.search. So basically, this isn't really going to do much. But if we log it, and we could see object.object. .object. Basically, if location.search, it's going to give us that. This is just two handy methods you can use the location provider. Hope this video helped you helped you guys out and um, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give me some feedback, and uh, thanks guys.